Hey guys, Yvonne here at YvonneMana.com. In this video, I want to show you how to set up Google Ads conversion tracking for your website, for your landing page, your opt-in page, your funnel, whatever it is you have here, I will show you exactly how to do it. You don't have to have any prior experience. You don't have to understand everything to the technical T. I'm going to show you everything. Everything's gonna make sense. We're gonna do everything together here in this video. Now, conversion tracking is incredibly important, guys. Not only will you see the data here, you're gonna see conversions, and you will be able to optimize by keywords, by demographics, age, gender, country, location, device, all that stuff, but you will also be feeding data to Google. So Google will be able to get you more of these conversions. So it's really important to get this set up. Now, before I show you exactly how to do it, guys, make sure to hit like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell icon so you get notified when I release more videos just like this. That being said, let's get straight into it. So here is our Google Ads account. Log into yours if you haven't already. I am also using Unbounce as my landing page builder. This is an example. So if you don't have Unbounce, that's okay. Follow along with me and observe the steps, observe the process that I'm going through. So this is what we'll be using. Let's head back into our Google Ads account and let's set up our conversion event first. So in my case, I want to track how many people sign up to my landing page. I have this little form. I wanna know how many people visit this form and actually sign up and land on this thank you page. That's the goal. So. We're gonna go back into Google. I'm gonna click on tools and settings. I'm going to click on conversions and we're going to create a new conversion event. So disregard all of these. I'm gonna click on the little plus sign here and I'm gonna click on website. And we're just gonna go from top to bottom. We're going to fill in the blanks here. So the first option here is we have to select the category. So what is it we want to track? Is it a sale? Is it a add to cart? Is it a begin checkout? Is it a subscription? In our case, it's a sign up. So we're gonna click sign up. This isn't super important for you to get exactly right. For example, if you select purchase for someone signing in, this is just for your reference. So whatever you want to consider people, you know, signing up on this page, that's what you want to add here. So I'm going to click sign up over here. I'm going to make it clear that this is a sign up to my, for example, unbounce landing page, whatever product you're promoting, you want to add it here. If you're promoting a diabetes product, you want to say diabetes sign up, make it clear because if you recall on the previous page, I had about 10 different events you want to be able to keep track, all right? So this is important. Next, you can add a value for your conversion. So you can say that you can set the same value for each conversion. For example, if someone converts, whether it's a sale or a sign up, let's say it's worth $10. And this is going to show up in your Google Ads account in the columns. It's going to say, hey, you got two conversions and therefore you got $20, right? 10 times two, whatever it is. Um, so this is for each conversion. You can also set different conversions. If you set this option, you will need to ask your developer for help. They will need to add some dynamic values into the conversion tracking code. Okay. So I'm not going to go through this here. This is something you would have to go through with your developer, but you can either set the same value for each conversion. Let's say, Hey, whenever someone signs up, you know, I did the math and it's worth about $2 whenever someone signs up or you can leave it blank and you can say, Hey, if someone signs up, I'm not making any money yet. I don't know yet. This is a new campaign. I haven't done the math yet. I have no idea how much each conversion is worth. So I'm going to leave it blank. You can set this option as well. The main thing here is to just set up this conversion tracking guys is to just show Google that once someone does sign up, for example, a conversion will show up. So you don't have to add a value. Okay. So don't worry about that. Next we have the count. So over here you can set, for example, let's suppose you have three products on your website. If one person buys three products, do you want that to count as three conversions in this case every, or do you want, if one person buys 10 products, do you want that to count as one conversion? So this is, you know, this is up to you uh, for leads. Like it says here, I would probably go with one, but for purchases, you would want to go with every because it's just going to feed more data into Google for leads. You don't want to say every, because if one person accidentally signs up two or three times, that just, that looks weird. You don't want to be misled and uh, it's not going to be very accurate information. So for leads, we'll just stick to one, but you know what every means. Now these options, I generally leave as they are. For example, the click through conversion window says that after someone clicks on your 
add? How many days do they have to convert? For example, if you, if you leave it at 30 days, if somebody clicks on your ad and then they convert 29 days later, that will still count as a conversion. On the other hand, if someone clicks on your ad and they convert 35 days later, which is over this 30 day limit, then that will not count as a conversion, okay? Um, for view through conversion window, you wanna leave it at one day. For including conversions, you wanna leave this as yes, that'll just show up uh, you know, in your Google Ads conversion column. And for attribution model, you wanna leave it at last click. All of these are slightly different, uh, but for now, you can just leave it at last click. This is generally the default. Once you get enough conversions, you will need a lot of conversions. Ideally, you wanna go with data driven. So what this means is, you know, let's suppose you have 10 different uh, ad types. You have a video ad, you have a search ad, you have a display ad, you have a Gmail ad. You, this data driven approach will attribute conversions according to which of those specific channels contributed more to this conversion. Whereas if you set last click, whichever channel resulted in the lead last, that's what it's going to attribute the conversion to. So I can spend, you know, another 10, 15 minutes explaining all of these, but for now, you know, just to keep things clean and simple, uh, you can just leave it at last click. And if you do want to use enhanced CPC option, which means that Google will sometimes up your bid. So if you set your bid to $5, sometimes it's going to spend, for example, $6 to get a click. So if you don't want that to happen, if you do want Google to respect your maximum click, just deselect that option and click on create and continue. Now you have several options here. Let's go with this easiest one. You can email the tag to your webmaster. So you can go in here, enter their email, and you will tell them, you know, all of this is going to be sent to them and they will know what to do. Now you don't have to do that because hey, you're watching this video. If you are using Google Tag Manager, you just fill in the blanks here. I am not covering Google Tag Manager, but if you do have it and you know what you're doing, here is where you find this information. It's very simple to do. We're gonna, however, go with this install the tag yourself option because that is what I'm here for. That is why I'm showing you how to do this so that you can do this yourself. So what we have to do first is we have to add this global site code on all of our pages, okay? So this code, put it on every single page of your site. So I'm going to go ahead and copy it. I'm going to go back to my landing page, open JavaScript, and I'm going to paste it here. I'm going to say head, and I'm going to say Google Ads base code, because this is the base code. We're not tracking conversions. This code is what's going to allow all this data to be sent back to Google and if you're creating audiences, this code is what's going to allow you to create these audiences, okay? So this is the base code we're adding, add it to every page. I'm gonna click done, I'm gonna click save here. We're not gonna publish the page yet, or maybe this one we can publish, but we're not gonna publish the thank you page yet. So I'm gonna come back here, we're gonna do the same thing here. Now guys, like I said, you know, every different page is different. Like I'm using Unbounce, you might be using something else. So whatever you're using, you have to add this code to your site. So look for this JavaScript code for the page somewhere. It might be on your left, it might be on the right, it might be at the top. In ClickFunnels, for example, there's gonna be a little option there that's gonna say settings. You click on that, there's gonna be another option that says code, tracking code, click that and add this in the head. If you're using something like lead pages, you'll see options on the left. Go to pages, go to page settings, add the code there. Whatever it is you're doing, guys, look for this JavaScript section. If you can't find it, contact support, but this is what you're looking for and you're just adding it in the head section of the site. Sometimes you will also be able to add it to the entire site without having to go to every page. For example, in ClickFunnels, you will have the option to go into funnel settings and just add this code there for the entire funnel, okay? So if you have shortcuts like that to add this code to every single page without having to manually do it, you can do that as well, okay? But it's the same thing, main thing is we need to add this code to every page of our site. So however you wanna do it, do it, okay? That's the goal. So we've done that, I'm gonna save this thank you page. Now we're not done yet, right? Because for this specific conversion, we wanna track how many people land on this thank you page. And how do they land on this thank you page? Well, they sign up to our landing page, right? This is the only way they land here, the only way people get here is by signing up. So guess what? We're going to add another code on this page, not the base code. We're gonna add a special conversion code to this page that's going to allow us to actually track that a conversion has taken place, okay? So we're gonna come back here, we're gonna simply scroll down and we're going to copy this code and we're gonna paste it in the head section as well. So we can copy it, we can open this. Now you can open a new JavaScript and you can paste it here 
And you can also say head and you can say Google Ads uh, you know, conversion code, or you can delete this. You can go in here and you can simply paste that new code here, but then instead of here, you will say just Google Ads code. You can say Google Ads tracking code because now it's not only the base code, right? Or you can say Google Ads base code plus conversion code, okay? So something like that, either way, however you wanna do it. Main thing is we wanna put this code on this page, right? So you wanna put this code this code right here at the bottom of your thank you page. Now, some of you guys might be asking, you might be saying, hey, I want to track sales, I want to track upsells, I want to track downsells, how do I do that? The process is exactly the same, guys. So if you have a purchase page, for example, and then you have a purchase confirmation page, you would do the same thing. You would go into here, into Google, you would set up a purchase pixel, right? So we're done here, we can click next, we can click done. But if you are, for example, you're asking, well, I have a purchase page, how do I track that? You click plus, click website again, you select purchase here, and then you fill in the blanks again, but then the code, right, that little code at the bottom, remember we had the code at the bottom? You're gonna add that to, let's suppose this is the purchase code. Uh, purchase ASDF, that's taken, just trying to show you really quickly. So if we click install the tag, this code here, now you're gonna add on the purchase confirmation page, right? Because how do you know that someone bought? Because they land on the purchase confirmation page, right? That's like the confirmation that they bought. That's how they get there. So how do you track that they bought? You add this code to the confirmation page. So it's the same process here. I just have an opt-in page, but if you wanna track also sales, you add that sales code to the sales confirmation page. Make sense? So whatever you wanna track, do you wanna add upsell, uh, do you wanna track upsells? Then add the code to the page that follows that upsell page and so on and so forth. Hopefully you guys get the idea, but this is how you're gonna be tracking all of these different conversions. You can have more than one conversion. So if you have a sign up conversion, you don't have to just leave it at that. You can also add a purchase conversion. You can add a uh, upsell tracking conversion, downsell tracking conversion, whatever it is, guys, depending on, I don't know what your specific website or funnel looks like, but you can add more than one and that's how you would track all of them. Now, let me quickly show you two more things. One is where you would see this. So you would see this in the conversion column. Now, once you actually start adding more di different types of conversions, let's say you do have an opt-in page and you do have a you know sales confirmation page and upsell page and you're tracking all of that. If you go in here and you go into segment, you go into conversions, click on conversion action, and now you will see the different conversion actions that's gonna take place. So for example, if you have, we just created the sign up conversion. So right here below this Carbofix UT, YT, you're gonna see, is gonna say sign up conversion one. And then if you have a purchase conversion, it, right underneath that is gonna say purchase conversion one, for example, right? If you, if you generated those conversions. And then here's where you're gonna see it. If you don't see this conversion column, click on columns, click on modify columns, click on this conversions tab and select conversions. And it's the same thing everywhere, whether it's ad groups, whether it's keywords, whether it's ads, wherever you wanna see this conversion. So here I'm on the keywords tab, I'm gonna click on columns, gonna click on modify columns, gonna select conversions and here they are. So this is how you see these conversions. Now one more thing, let's just quickly test and make sure that we added this correctly, right? That we added the codes correctly. So I'm going to hit save and publish and we're gonna open this page and I'm gonna show you what I use to test and make sure it's working. So this is our landing page URL, okay? I'm gonna open this, I'm gonna come back here. So how do we test that the pixel was added here? Well, I'm using an extension called Google Tag Assistant Legacy. So it's, it's legacy, I guess they replaced it, but this still works very well. So go into your browser and ideally, I do recommend using Chrome for any sort of Google testing and just download Google Tag Assistant Legacy. That is what you're looking for, okay? Download that. Once you do, you're gonna click on enable. Uh, we're gonna refresh the page here. And over here, we're gonna click on this again. We see the two codes. We see the remarketing tag code, which is set up automatically because we added the base code. So we'll be able to do remarketing audiences. I have a whole course on that on how to create professional advanced remarketing audiences for the highest quality traffic. You can take a look at my website uh, at ivanmana.com slash old courses where I cover this in detail. But this is basically it, okay? So this confirms that we set up the base code, but now we have to see that we set up the conversion code, right? So this is our thank you page. I'm gonna open the thank you page, and over here, we have to enable again, and then we're gonna refresh. This time we should see three pixels, not two. So we should see this global site tag, and then we should see the conversion tracking code right there, which confirms 
that we will be tracking conversions, specifically in this case, sign up conversions. You would test the same thing if you have a sales confirmation page, an upsell page, whatever you wanna track guys, literally. Whatever you wanna track, this is the process you go through. You take the Google code, first of all, add the base code on every page, and second of all, add the conversions tracking code to the pages following the specific action page you wanna track. So hopefully that makes sense. If you found value in this, guys, make sure to check out my YouTube channel at Ivan Mana on YouTube. I have a lot of these different types of tutorial videos that cover tips, tricks, techniques, all that stuff. If you are interested in learning about affiliate marketing, I do also give you a free 55-page guide, completely free, which takes you step-by-step -step from A to Z in what affiliate marketing is, how to get started, how do you make money with it, all that stuff at ivanmana.com, I-V-A-N-M-A-N-A.com. So take a look, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you found value. I will see you in the next video.